Okay, everybody. Welcome back to this game that's being all emotional now. We're going to go frumping out in the woods. Who's that? Is that the ghost? What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk. Fine. Let's do this. Jesus. Oh, oh my, my god, god, did Greg just shoot that guy with a crossbow? Oh. <laughs> Boom! Get away from her, you piece of shit! You're outnumbered, asshole! Ah, you shot me! And we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you okay? What are you are such an idiot? What were you thinking coming out here alone? It's all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the one putting on a dumb costume and following me around and kidnapping people? Maybe is that your fault now? It's it's in my dreams. Hey, kiddo, we're out here outside your head. Whatever's going on in there. I believe you, but I'm not going to let you wander off into the woods to die. No, but... Oh, shut up. Would you let me do this? Oh, that's cheating, putting it that way. We're all in this now, and even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly we all would be. Listen, I... All the family my dad has left. I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you are God. You're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. But you're not dying either. <laughs> Hairball cough. That sounds okay. I mean... Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. Go away here, I'll go. Anyway, yeah, anyway, if he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and I'm up or something. Can you walk, May? I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go do something really stupid. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? You could, like, block it shut or something. Aw, oh, dang. You're right. No. I have to go down there. Well, then. Looks like all his friends are gone. Just one guy? Just one guy? Something. Bang, bang. <laughs> Greg just shot that guy with a crossbow. <laughs> that was amazing. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. Uh-huh. And to be scared of down here. It's the party. Eh. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this? Yeah, mate. You sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. 
He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I, I don't know what's going to happen down there. Okay then, we'll come out of this together. Ugh, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like, a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure? Well, here we are. <laughs> hey, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. <laughs> is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy, but thanks. Shh! I hear something. Down there. You going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. She be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> Big star. It's like stuff. Door. Door. Annul. Whatever. No. Well, that's not creepy. <laughs> Sounds like a ghast. Ah, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like, junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. Here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. You see that in the background? What? <laughs> pentagram. Oh, yeah. Your handshake pentagram. This is gonna be like a Cthulhu thing. Mm hmm. Seems like a Cthulhu thing. <laughs> a little cigarette bouncing. Do do do. No, you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole. We're like five times scarier than you. There they are. They're right there. I'm going to kill them. Aid you do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. <laughs> That I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of... Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. But, then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Wait, do you think that Eid 
kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He. Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've, I've felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Best Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole. Copper. Abandoned. Shoot. Long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine came back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper, till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place, and Jim walks right into that hole, and never hits the bottom. Ed calls down to Jim, Jim don't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl, in dreams and in waking times. What brought you down here? So what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? Black goat. Not even black like the color, black like the space between the stars. He's down there in that hole, looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you, he sings. Why would you just do something... Do something a hole in a cave told you to do? You gotta understand, in those days it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving, government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ah, oh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished. Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when I and Scudder come back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? Uh, uh. Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it, but he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Once... Once he takes a shining to, it rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it, but they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger, and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. First time? First one into the hole by our own hands. We own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing, and it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no. AC? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long. Before whatever sad end he'd wind up at, we did him a favor. You... You killed Casey? Oh, my God. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here in the, the whole time. His parents put up posters. 
Maybe they should have cared more about him before I came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. All right, now throw it down right now or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here. Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. Hey, hey. Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Rag. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this, none of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old Mills puff and smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home became... A home become a pile... A tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burnt out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be just... Shapes. Die, Danny. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, like financially, or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. It does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why shouldn't we just call the cops? And say what? You saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned mine behind a locked gate and an elevator that won't run? That you saw a hole? Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are. Out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, eight. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Eat, I swear to God. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. Eh. <laughs> I, I can't move, guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just horror? That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here, fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Look later. Old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey... Yeah... Uh, I... Yeah... Uh, and for what? 
I, I think I get it. Oh, really? I'm tired to explain it right, but, like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen, which is what had happened, like, a long time ago, or how they remember, or, like, picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest, and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yeah, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I'd... Oh, quick time event. No! Kick him in the face. Oh, God. <laughs> Ah, this his arm just come off? I think so. That's ironic. That is that ironic? Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? May, say something. <laughs> May. <laughs> Okay. It's okay. I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. I feel air coming from somewhere. Though, so we're not gonna suffocate. Oh, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. <laughs> I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Aww. <laughs> Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again, which is weird. <laughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's a charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. All right, I'm up. Sure. Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up like a long time ago. Let me get through Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. And water? Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. Hey, she's running again. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in that one foot of water. Right. <laughs> Figures. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless. I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus, I had this dream, or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time, and the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over was over long before I got here. So long, hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt, bad. I want to lose, I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt because that means it meant something. 
It means I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... Hey! Dude, you okay? Whoa! <laughs> you got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you again? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang in there for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Huh? Hey, there's light over there. Smell that? I bet he did. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back then. Looks old enough, at least. Brochure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please. You get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah, are you up for this? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? <laughs> no, like when your body is like, uh, wow, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. <laughs> oh, okay. There, thank you. Those. Oh, okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh. <laughs> That's like assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Jump. 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 It's a metaphor, everyone. It's a metaphor. Oh, is it? For climbing out of the hole of darkness? Yep. Climbing out of a literal hole of darkness. <laughs> Well, well, well. <laughs> this place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. <laughs> That's like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can <laughs> you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Is that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? Ugh. <sighs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best germ. You need the sugar and the caffeine. Uh, um, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you like, I don't know, still up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Jerem. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Jerem is great, too. There goes a weird, weird guy. <laughs> he saved our lives. Jerem is good. Jerem is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken, and we did cause a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. 
No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers! Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> Uh, what? They, like, kill people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw up. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. He's Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. 